The uh, co the weapon systems is Major Corne Stadler. Watch the Roy Falk now. These two guys are really working very, very well. Paul Kinsall is 41 years old. He has a three-year-old daughter, Abigail, happily married with a call sign, Rafu. Joined the Air Force in uh, 99, currently on Roy Falk. If we look at Corne Stadler, grew up in portable Western Cape, married three-year-old daughter, Sophia. Uh, he's a and he's also very happy that his wife has come to watch him. Oh. The uh, helicopter that we're watching here, the Roy Falk, it's an attack helicopter. It's manufactured by the maximum fall-up weight is 8,975. The fuel load is 1,440 kilograms internal and a maximum speed of 309 kilometers per hour. This helicopter cruises at 240 kilometers per hour. On the nose, you see the chin mounted cannon, which fires high explosive and armor piercing rounds. The firing rate is 900 rounds per minute. Maximum effective is around two kilometers, a capacity of 500 rounds. That helicopter is most certainly going to hurt you. It also carries the 70 millimeter unguided rockets, a range of seven kilometers. The maximum capacity, four rocket pods. Each rocket pod fires 19 rockets. The aircraft can be fitted with four missile air-to-air, infrared guided missiles, and up to 16 Makofa laser-guided precision missiles. So this is a pretty mean machine. Flown here by Master Aviator. And that is, of course, uh, Raccoon Paul Kipford. You wonder what the little uh, thing is on top of the... like a little rod that is on top of the disc above the main rotor. That's so that they can measure they are uh, airspeed, you see the chin mounted gun there, the sensors, it's got lots of cameras and it's got all sorts of wonderful aids that you could use if you're in uh, trouble or if you want to sort some trouble out. The 16 Squadron, based at the Air Force Base, Bloomsbreit. is because they are part of the United Nations peacekeeping up in the DRC. Lovely peacekeeping with the, the Roy Falk. You don't keep the peace, we sort you out very quickly. Now he's got the, the gun is mounted to his helmet. It's a helmet sighted uh, system. So where he's looking, that's now uh, our man in the front. And uh, wherever he's looking, that is where the gun is going. So if he is flying along with you and he looks at you, the gun will suddenly point to your aircraft. So you always make sure that Roy Fogg flies in front. Pretty mean system they have got to see that once this helicopter had seen action, the whole world sat up and took note of this proudly manufactured South African helicopter that caused devastation just like it was required to do. All the pilots on these machines are highly trained and very well motivated, based in Central South Africa. Now this is where he can see you as he does. Give him a big wave. Let's give him a big wave. That's it, everybody. We should uh, see him now just rearward tracking. Paul Kempi. All kept form.
within Kone Stadler. This is always, look at that. What more could you want? Just putting it on its, that's a handstand. Turns that helicopter around. Brilliant. Such a professional. So don't go away because you could be in for a surprise and don't say I didn't warn you. Watch now as he flies straight towards us. He pitches it up nicely. He lets it climb all the way up. Those two Makila engines, 1,400 kilowatts each. As you heard, they're eight and a half tons of heavy metal. Turns the aircraft. That's the play area that he's going into. He turns. He's a bit low, so he won't fire them there. What, I just heard a request over the radio that just come in here now. Not sure what he wants to do. Looks like he's going to do a touch and go. He comes down. Watch how nicely he flies. Puts the, the tail wheel down. He's down. Opens it and he says, come on, give me a big wave. Both of them opening. Their windows for a great, great big wave. Beautiful.